And as ever, that's an incredible sight. Soyuz hauling itself against the Earth's gravity and making its way across the steppes of Kazakhstan there. Traveling faster than a speeding bullet. We're being powered by four boosters, which are on the Soyuz launch vehicle are known as the first stage, and indeed the central core. Both of those were lit on the ground. Those boosters will burn for just under two minutes, and they have one engine each. What kind of propellant are we burning here at the moment? So for the central core, plus the four boosters and the first stage, the propellant is liquid oxygen plus kerosene. But for the fregate upper stage, it's a different fuel configuration. You have N2O4 on one side and UDMH on the other side. So the whole of Soyuz is on one and frigate is, a, is another fuel. Uh, what triggers separation, Oswald? Okay, when Soyuz reaches a predetermined velocity, the signal is given by the computer for separation. And we're coming up to separation of the boosters. And those boosters will be uh, falling down over Kazakhstan, and we're hoping to see that very shortly. Exactly. We're lucky to be able to see that tonight. We saw the separation of the booster just now. And there we go. That was it. The booster's falling away. And will they be recuperated? No. Um, sometimes they analyze the, 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 the boosters, but usually they don't care about it. Now, um, we said earlier that Soyuz... Uh, and we have confirmation there of separation. Exactly. Um, we said earlier that Soyuz uh, might look the same as it did uh, 50 or so years ago. It has certainly evolved a little since then. Um, we do have a number of different types of fairing now. Now there are two types of fairing for Soyuz. The smaller one, which is the S-type fairing, and the bigger one, which is the ST-type fairing. Today, uh, we are using an S-type fairing plus an extension of 750 millimeters because of the length of Galaxy 14. Uh, we saw the separation of the fairing happens at an altitude of around 130 kilometers, which is about uh, 75 miles. Well, we're now burning the second stage, uh, similar construction to the boosters, same fuel, as you pointed out, ignition, as we said, on the ground with the boosters. This stage burns for about 4 minutes and 20 seconds. Um, run through for us, Francois, how does separation of the stages actually work on Soyuz? Because it is a little different, isn't it, from, from other launch vehicles? Yeah, exactly. Now we will have a standard sequence for all Russian launchers, which is, first of all, ignition of the upper stage before separation of the lower stage. It's the opposite uh, of the occidental launch vehicles like Iron 5 or Delta four, for example, and this uh, Russian process helps to separate and push out the previous stage. And we're getting some fantastic pictures here. It's a crazy one, yes. Absolutely beautiful. Um, we're coming up to uh, the next phase will be separation of the fairing. Just, just before we get to that, just run through what we're actually looking at here, Francois. Fabulous. Yeah. Beautiful pictures. The next, phase, as, the next phase, as I said, will be the separation of the fairing, um, which uh, will mean that we will be technically um, in space, effectively, because the fairing is protecting the satellite. And we have confirmation of separation.